So we could actually say that it's, it's been always uh, present in the society, always actually during the communist period, um, there, there, has, there, was, um, there were movements, there were individuals who um, believed in, in this kind of ideology. Of course, um, they were not like explicit about that because of the system. Mrs. Thatcher was here, visited Janos Kadar. They hit it off extremely well. And you shouldn't forget that the party apparatus by that time contained much more market fundamentalists than the opposition. Polgártársak, az orosz megszállás és a kommunista diktatúra 40 évvel ezelőtt történt bevezetése óta. Uh, the first Hungarian government, uh, freely elected Hungarian government in 1990, was already a very strongly nationalist government and uh, already protesting against uh, liberal or perceived liberal ideas such as gender equality, such as anti-racism, such as liberal internationalism, such as the European idea, and so on and so forth. Végrehajtható politikai program szerves és nélkülözhetetlen részei megvalósulnak ebben az országban. Szinte minden egyes eltétele megott. Dissolution and atomization that was of course almost immediately the result of uh, the forcible introduction of market capitalism and uh, which immediately created great discontent. of the society felt again that they were the losers repeatedly and uh, that might uh, direct them to the far right. Like those movements and, and parties emerged right after the regime changed. What he learned is that no, with this centre-right strategy he is simply unable to win the election. Uh, and uh, from 2003-2004 he started to turn in an, into a more populist direction. Uh, first with much more calm messages, post-Kadarian, post-socialist messages about that uh, need for, for transfers for the poor and so on. And I think uh, his big populist turn began then. And uh, right now he's maximizing the advantages of, of his populist turn. <laughs> That it was not it was not a spontaneous uh, uh, revolution as it was uh, very funnily portrayed even in international media. Három száz gárdista vonult fel a 2000 lakos utatár Szent Györgyön. Rendezett sorokban masíroztak. A helyiek hol csak nézték, hol meg is tapsolták őket. 
at that time they, they organized uh, and it was the members of Jobbik who started the movement of the of the Hungarian Guard. And the members of the Hungarian Guard organized rallies, anti-gypsy anti rallies. There is a, um, a far-right organization based in Britain called um, Knights Templar International. And this organization has a very close connection to a lot of far-right organizations in the region, including Hungary. And this organization has, for instance, close cooperation um, with the Hungarian, um, with, with many Hungarian kind of radical or extremist movements like the, the, the 64 Counties Youth Movement, also the Hungarian um, Self-Defense Movement, um, um, and also to, uh, uh, to the um, Identitas Movement, um, and the new movement called um, uh, Strength and um, Determination, uh, and also to the organization um, Army of Outlaws. Um, and um, you can prove that there is a kind of know-how transfer from Knights Templar International to these Hungarian organizations, but there are also many uh, signs of financial um, support coming from Knights Templar International to these organizations. He changed basically his ideas while in power and, uh, and he went ever more to the extreme right, but it was a gradual, it was a gradual uh, uh, development, if you call this development. Az európai népek nagy szabadságharca után a mi közös otthonunk, Európa nem szabad. Ez a guy, who, if he could, would turn Hungary into a migrant country, meaning uh Bécs egyik nagy hírű, régi nagy hírű kerületében vagyunk, ahol 20 évvel ezelőtt egyetlen egy bevándorló sem volt. Ma ebben a kerületben már csak fehérek és keresztények, idős nyugdíjasok vannak, mindenki más bevándorló. 700 ezerre nőtt a bevándorlók száma Ausztriában, akiknek nagy része itt él ebben a kerületben, ezen a környéken, Bécs városában. Jó estét kívánok mindenkinek! Jó estét kívánok, tisztelt Hölgyeim és Uraim! So, you know, Orbán was in a way the first that has uncovered indeed the uh, uh, authoritarian substance of post-89 democracies. Yes. Let's say buying up some people in opposition parties and, and turning the opposition parties to pseudo-opposition parties, this is also a typical. There is no party today that would say I will destroy the border fence. They all agree on this i.e. the premise of Orbán's regime, uh, which is ethnic and religious denominational and national, is not doubted and discussed and attacked by anybody.